Welcome guys, it is the Axeman here, and we are back on Ox of Evolved with some more Mega Monsters. Yeah, boy, I know there's been a little bit of a break from this, but of course, you know, Genesis Part 2 dropped. I did say the, the episodes would be a little more spaced out, especially to begin with, but it's not gone anywhere. Don't worry, we're back, and it is Hybrid Day. Yeah, boy, we created two hybrids, and Tilly just wanted to say hi because we've not seen Tilly in a while, and I'm not going to lie, kind of missed her. Kind of missed a little bit. So, Tilly, you sit in your little spot, which I'm sure at one point I will build you a little roof over your head, a little house. I don't know. We'll, we'll get some of it done. So, we're back. There's been a bunch of updates. We've got SCPs with, like, names and stuff now, nocturnal modes, and I've not actually checked them out. But, yeah, I, I don't really know what all that stuff means. But, yeah, things happened. So, hybrid day we're gonna do two hybrids today and we're gonna do one one carnivore one herbivore so if we hop in here we're still on type one so what we're gonna do for all you carno lovers i feel like the carno is a very divided creature you either love it or you hate it um so we're gonna do the carno and the electric eel which is gonna be cool so just making small excellent DNA. We need to go out and tame a regular one so we can get an egg. And I need to make the DNA, which I already have the arms. I actually got some arms, so I just need to turn that into DNA. And then we're going to do the one I keep talking about, the Dodic and the Bronto, which uh, I need to go and kill a whole ton of Brontos, which is not that difficult because there's so many of them, or sauropods, should I say. And then we've got to go tame a Bronto. Again, I'm going to need a whole bunch of DNA, so that one might take a little while, but we'll get the Connor done first. But... Again, I've not read the description, but I'm pretty sure that's either going to be a Bronto with a big shell or a Dodic with a long neck. <laughs> it's a snail then, pretty much. So that's what we're going to get done today. Um, and oh, oh, hey, little buddies. How are you all doing? You all being cute? We're going to get them two done today. So if you do enjoy the episode at any point, make sure you're whacking a like on it, keeping all the support for the series so, you know, we can continue this because I want to get through all these hybrids, man. I want to I want to get every single one done because I don't know about you, love, but I freaking love them. I love the, the, I don't know, it's not the mystery, but the excitement of seeing what is being made and stuff is really cool. Uh, make sure you're subscribing if you are new. If you are new, this is your first video you've watched, then you've got a whole library, a whole series of videos to watch. So you are lucky. <laughs> and uh, yeah, question of the day then. So the Carno, the Carnotaurus, do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know down below. I, for one, now not, I don't mean just Ox model. I mean in general, because you can't make it look good in my opinion. I just hate its stupid arms. I don't understand why a creature evolved like that. Like, a T-Rex has small arms, but they're still strong and capable of doing shit. Carno's arms are slapped, da like, by its side. And I reckon if that dude fell over, that's game over. <laughs> that's game over for them. Oh, man. Let me know down below, then. So, first things first, then. We're going to go grab a Carno, and we're going to go and grab a Bronto, which, uh... Carno's are pretty difficult to find. Uh, see, look, here's loads of sauropod DNA there. I can get to that later. Oh, hello, Shadow Main. You spawn on here now? Interesting. Boom. Down. You're dead. Oh, we get Phyla Claws from that. Sweet. That would be very ideal. Um, right, Carno. And uh, I want a regular Bronto because I, I can never remember if the modded ones lay the eggs. So it's, you know, better to be safe than sorry and just go straight for a normal dude and there's normally a whole bunch of them around here but yeah we have our myth spear so it's legit just stab it in its butt once and bob's your uncle there you go you've got your creature <laughs> oh I, oh I found a 180 carno actually interesting let me just uh, get rid of all of this stuff is that a dodic a myth dodic that's cool all, right. all of you get away because i don't want you to disturb me there's a 180 carno are you a you are a female as well. Okay, that's kind of like perfect. Okay, I am going to come and stab you in your butt. If you just be passive a hot second. Imagine that, finding a max level one when you really don't need one. Cha. And go to sleep, sir. Thank you very much. All right, well, there's Kano done. I'm going to pop some meat into him. I'll just leave him there for a bit. And then, uh, have you got any meat on you? Nope. And then I'll go and find me a Bronto. Hey, that's what we need. There's a, a female. What are you, Mr. Primary Guy here? 
female level Fey, which is perfect. Uh, they're all going to go and try and kill some so can we not for a hot sec? Oh, that's a freaking... Oh, wait. Oh, God. I thought he was asleep. There's a freaking Titan. There's a Titan over there. I want to tame one of them. Oh, man. Oh, I'm probably going to have to kill you because you're probably going to be in the way, man. I have not seen you in so long, Mr. Titan. You're the Colossus Titan. Oh, you are. That's so cool. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to have to kill you. Oh, maybe I can't kill you. Maybe I can't hit you. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry, sir. It had to be done. All right. I'm going to go gather some berries and stuff and uh, we'll get the bronze hook. Then we'll take both creatures back home and wait for some eggs and make some DNA. And then we're ready to check out. Oh, and I've got to go and harvest loads of sauropod stuff. And then we're going to check out some new hybrid. Yeah, boy. All right, we are back. And I feel like we can make the bronzo. Okay, so the con is not laid an egg yet, but the bronzo did. Um, let me just say... I had to, I think it was like 61 or some vertebrae. Do you want to know how many brontos and shit I've killed? <laughs> Poor old pizza top it has had like an absolute field day. So we're going to do the bronto first just because we have the egg ready for it. Which means I do need to make some more excellent dino DNA, which isn't a problem. I don't think so. Uh, let's make 200 of that. Probably have to make some more normal dino DNA, but, you know, we'll, we'll get in there. So, um, oh, I wish it wasn't dark. We may be able to admin magic it to morning time when the Bronto's ready. So, yeah, I'll bring you back once Bronto Dodic is ready and we can check out an armored long neck, maybe. All right, we've got my boy and it's magically morning time. It must have just been a random eclipse or something. <laughs> So, let's go have a look at this, boys. You know what? I've missed hybrids. Uh, it's actually really bright out here. I've missed the excitement of opening the hybrids up. It's like, um, you know when you do loot crates and stuff on games, like FIFA and whatnot? It, I, I feel like it's that. So, Dodicarus Brontosaurus. Create a Dodicarus Bronto hybrid. This will let you have a hybrid called a Pachycanterus. A sauropod with impenetrable armor. Uh, the tip of its tail is all is so heavy and devastating that it can destroy metal structures. It is a great stone harvester. Okay, so we've got a picture what we think it's gonna look like. It's gonna be a bronto. It's gonna have a big club on its tail. It's gonna it's gonna have a dodic face, and it's gonna have a big armored shell on the back of it. I'd love for it to have armor everywhere, but we'll have to see. So, are we ready in three, two, one? Let's go. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh, he's a big boy. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? Okay. It's really hard for me to, like, fly and stare at his face. Um, it's kind of exactly how I thought it was going to be, to be fair. His face is a little derpy looking, but I like that. So it's not just a normal Bronto face. Oh, you know what? I can uh, just chill up here. But yeah, big armored plating on the back of it. Loving that. And I was expecting a big, massive club on its tail. But I mean, that looks pretty sick. I would have liked it to had maybe like some like knee pads. If it had some like knee pads or something, that would have been cool. Or maybe like some ankle pads. But honestly, this is exactly how I envisioned it. Oh, man. You are a big freaking boy. You are. Right. What we'll do then. Um, right. Patchy Cantorus. Do you have a saddle? Okay. So I'm guessing you use a Bronto saddle. All right. Let's go make a Bronto saddle. So you stay there. Let's go make a Bronto saddle. We'll take him down there and we'll just kind of test out his moves like we normally do and stuff. All right, Mr. Bronto Man. Let's see if this fits on you. It does. Perfect. Okay, so we're as slow as a normal Bronto. We have, like, all the moves. We also get stuck on trees like a Bronto. Perfect. Oh, okay. There's, 
There's like a random little indent in it, which is a little weird. I'm liking the spikes off it though. It's the, the face is just so weird. You know, you know what? Too fair. I think I like that face more than the actual Bronto face. All right, so let's have a look at attacks. A left click. Uh, Two seven seven. That's decent, you know. That's really not bad. Right click. This is stomp. Can I stomp on you, sir? You're gonna walk round the C. X space Q R. All right. Well, so it's strong. It's decent, so stone-wise, um, not really gathering the stone. It said it's a good stone gatherer, except it doesn't want to actually gather the stone. <laughs> I don't even think it gets berries. It doesn't. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Do I have to, like, stomp on them? Okay. Do I have to stomp on a stone to gather it? I've always hated the turn radius. Oh my god, we're at stem already. Always hate the turn radius. What do we get here? Oh, ascendant saddle. Eat some melon. God, you know what? I would kill for a, a big watermelon right now. Mm, I love melon. <laughs> Anyways, back to this. Oh yeah, there we go. 2,100 stone. Damn. 900 stone. Okay. So, yeah, you have to right click to gather it. And that weight has not gone up at all. Damn. Okay. The only issue I have with this. Like, I love the mod. It's really cool. It's really unique. The only issue I have is. By the time I'm at this level where I can make. This, because I've had to kill a whole load of sauropods. I've had to get loads of DNA. Am I going to be in need of stone? I like, guess it seems to be like a dude that you'd want, like, semi-mid-game-ish. But when you start making the hybrid, you, you're kind of more towards the end, right? Oh, well. I mean, it's still pretty cool. It is still pretty cool. All right. So, rating-wise... Honestly, the looks I'm pretty happy with. I would like a little bit of armor maybe on its neck and on its like on its legs or its feet or something. I think I would have topped it off. Uh, but honestly, an 8. I think I'll give it an 8. The actual Dodic shelfing kind of looks just like it's a saddle flopped onto the... over its shoulders. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I think I'd give that an 8. I, I'm... I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not going to lie. I don't know about you lot. Make sure you're whacking your uh, ratings down in the comment section. So Bronto equals, you know, 1 being the worst and 10 being it's the greatest hybrid we've ever seen. Nice. Okay, so... Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't grab the taxidermy for him. What I'm going to do then, we're just going to chill here and wait and... Well, we've got to wait for the Carno to lay an egg. And then I think we should have around the right amount of DNA. So I'll bring it back once he's ready and we can have a look at the Carno mixed with an electric eel. Sounds weird. And we're back and we're ready to make Carno slash eel. Uh, you know what? I, <laughs> we make all of this DNA and stuff and it's like, yeah, I've, I've just made 4,000 dino DNA and it's just gone within seconds. It's so sad, man. <laughs> it's so sad. Okay, uh, I'm just looking what else we've got. So we probably need to start... Oh my god, 600 regs DNA? 500 regs DNA? Bro, I've got two arms. That's like 12 DNA there, or 24 DNA. Bro, I need over a 1,000 DNA for them too. Right, they're probably going to have to freaking wait, man. <laughs> they're probably going to have to wait. Uh, we're probably moving on to type S next, right? I think we're probably getting on to some of these bad boys. Beauty DNA, Sarko DNA, Verzino, Leech DNAs. A lot of DNAs we're going to need to get. Apart from this one. Oh, sweet. That can be a nice, easy one to do next. All right. Let me just wait for this dude to be created. And then we'll check out the Carno slash Eel. All right. My boy has been made. A boy has been made. So, yeah, like I said, this could be a, an electric carno or an eel with uh, arms and legs. <gasps> what if the carno's arms have turned into eels? 
Oh, that'd be so cool. Then we like might actually like the dude. All right, well, let's have a look at him then. The one you've all been waiting for. Create a Carno Electrophorus hybrid. This is a hybrid called a Fossotaurus. Fossotaurus, yeah? A very dangerous hybrid that shares the electric abilities from an eel. The other half of it makes this large monster more reactive than any other large carnivore hybrid. I don't really understand what any of that means. I just don't know how this is going to look. I hope it's not just a Carno with electric effects around it, because that would really annoy me. I'm hoping it's a Carno. I'm hoping the face has changed a bit. I'm hoping it's got maybe the, you know, the eel pattern has like the electric things down the side. That would be really cool. Uh, maybe even like there's some fins around the side. I'm not sure. Hmm. All right, drum roll, everyone. Make sure you're doing a drum roll right now. I'm watching you. I, I have this ability. I can see through the, the screen. I can see you sat at home right now on your sofa. Make sure you're drum rolling it. Do -do 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 and three, two, one. Boom! Ooh. Oh, oh. You know. Ah, oh, look at his arms. They're not even arms anymore. They're little flippers. Okay, this looks like the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. I love him. I... This is amazing. I... Right, you know, like, when you expect stuff. Oh, he's got, like, even got things on his chin. Like, I had sort of my hopes up, but I knew they'd be just destroyed. This dude's cool. Let me just camera up a little bit. This dude... That's... That, that is a hybrid. That is what all the hybrids should look like. Like, you can clearly see the Carno, but then it's got eel all over it. It's got this aquatic eel stuff all over it. I don't like the Carno, but I'm straight up giving this dude a 10 for looks. That is so cool. It's got, like, little spines all down him. He's got the eel stuff that I was talking about just there. Uh, his feet, yeah, just a kind of... I just love his arms. I love how they removed his stupid arms and gave him little flippers. Oh, we've got to make sure we can check if this dude can swim. I'm loving these little bits on his chin. They're like little goopy things look really cool. But yeah, the front of him looks like a uh, Dothosaurus. That is cool as shit, sir. So a Fosto. Do you have a unique saddle or are you going to have a Carno saddle? Fosto. Okay, I guess you're going to have a Carno saddle. All right, let me grab this first. Okay, uh, you stay there. I'm going to go and grab you a saddle. No, look at it. Like, oh, that's so cool looking. That is so cool looking. You do you do want this saddle, right, sir? This is the one you want? Awesome. All right, let's go down here then. I'm going to go down this way for a change. So we've got to, got to make sure I check him in the water because I'm guessing it's going to be able to swim pretty well. Oh, there's a myth dog thing over there. don't like them. Are we all good? All right. I, I'm excited, man. I am excited for this one. Who would have thought the Kano would be one of my favorites? Like, look at him, man. Okay, so yeah. Kano run, he seems a little bit slower. So left click. Right click. Whoa. Okay. That looked cool. See? Damn. I'm seeing if it gives us any abilities. I don't think it does. Uh, X. Q. R. Space. Shift. Control. O. All right. This dude. Actually pretty good. Uh, right. I just want to find like. Are you a normal trike? Nope. You're a gorgon trike. But that shouldn't matter maybe. No. You know what? I'm not going to risk it. Dodo. Okay. 183. Here is Saber somewhere. It scares me. Lightning Parasol. What if I right click you? I don't know. Oh, oh, we keep going. Okay, you a normal trike? Nope. I don't like the sound of that dude. I don't want to be eaten by a Saber Tooth. Are you a normal Lystro? Nope. Is that a Noglin? Ah! Oh god, there's a Noglin! I've not met one of them in the wild yet, so I'm not sure how crazy they actually are. They can control your creatures, right? <laughs> Get away! Get away! Alright. 
I'm gonna just run up into the water then. We're gonna see if we can swim. We're gonna see what his water abilities are like. Just gonna make sure we get some stam. I'm just gonna pop some more stam into you. Make sure we're not being chased by the creepy little dude. I, lo I love this dude. I think he's so cool. All right. Let's have a look then. Okay, so he swims like the Baryonyx. Um, oh, his eyes close. That's creepy. I don't remember what a Connor looks like when it swims because I don't tame Connors because I don't like them. But uh, I was expecting a little bit more speed. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, so do we do any like different moves? I'm not sure like why we was just hovering above the water. That was a little weird. All right, piranhas. Can I like electrocute you all? Oh, I'm out of stamp. Crap. I'm still electrocuting you all, right? That's how you fish. You just electrocute them all and they all float to the top. Okay, can you like stop eating me in a minute? I need some stamp fish. Give me a break. All right, piranhas. Come back to me. Let me electrocute you. So we did right click on that parasaur. You know what? Can we just eat you? Are you a normal one? Okay, so C is different in the water. Can I see you from here? Can I right click you? Oh, yeah. All oh, the electrics. He's actually pretty good. Like, that ability is not too shabby. All right, let's bring him up here and do a, a C attack on him. Come on. Any day now, sir. <laughs> 212? So it's like a an electric headbutt, I guess it would be. Yeah, it's the, it's the kind of headbutt, but they had some electric effects. Well, I'm happy. Like, look at his tail. Like, that's the eel tail. This is... As far as hybrids go, this dude is perfection. This is exactly how all the hybrids should be. We've had some, like, very hit and miss ones. This one's a hit. I would give this one a 10 out of 10. That is up there with one of my favorite looking hybrids. It's just so much uniqueness because it's a land and a water creature mixed together. Kind of like the snake, uh, I can't remember what it was called, the type bower and the RG. Because it's a land creature mixed with a flyer, it, it makes them so much more like unique and I don't know, it makes them stand out a bit more. Oh, damn. You are cool, sir. All right, so I've got both the taxidermies. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to go and put them in our little, like, museum thing. And then we can wrap it up for today. Welcome back for the last time today. So I've managed to squeeze these two in here, and I think this is probably this room now complete. So I just wagged the Bronto, who was obviously a, a little bit big. Um, I could have... I might move him later, but if we do make another room, I may do like what I did with the Diplo. Have a, a big long one for him. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. that We may switch and swap them around, but yeah, he fit in there. And then we got the Kano in here who, uh, he glows a little. Look at, the, look at the back of him, he glows there. But yeah, I mean, the front of him is a Dilophosaurus, right? That is the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. You can't tell me it's not. That's so cool. So, yeah, what did I give? You had a 10 straight up, and I think I gave you an 8. So you'll have to let me know your ratings in the comment section. So to do Bronto equals, you know, whatever. Carno equals. And we can see who agrees and disagrees and stuff. But, yeah, I'm feeling like we've filled these rooms now. Um, so I'm probably going to have to build another extension because we've got a whole ton of creatures left. Uh, we may push out that way. Yeah, I think I'm going to push out that way. Maybe. I don't know. I'll see what happens. So, uh, yeah, there is that done. So, next episode, I'm not sure when it will be, but I will squeeze some in. We'll probably get that trike one done. Um, and we'll see what happens and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, the server's not going anywhere. Don't worry. So, if you did enjoy it, make sure you're whacking a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're following all the social medias and all the other usual stuff. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you all in a bit. See you later.